guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you new, make sure you subscribe click on the post notification bell to join my squad as for the returning subscribers thank you so much for tuning in and i really appreciate actually this is my last video 2020 and guys this year has been a year of ups and downs and the downs have been so many due to this pandemic but as for me i thank god for my growth on youtube at the beginning of the year i was actually at 300 subscribers but right now i'm at 30k plus subscribers i thank god for that and i thank you guys for that actually many people wanted to achieve a lot this year but they have not achieved but for me my target was actually at 10,000 subscribers but right now we are at 30 thank you guys thank you thank you thank you so much i really appreciate this and guys in today's video i'm gonna close the year with a video of the wajizus and bahatis who is more romantic you know there are so many incidences that have, that have occurred and we see that these guys are very romantic and guys we want to see who is more romantic between the two between kabi wajizus and bahati kevin bahati so guys make sure you watch this video till the end comment down below and don't forget to subscribe Heaven just knows what it was Will I go back to the place where I be Both Kabi and Bahati are romantic in their own ways and many ladies will wish to have such type of husbands because they are so loving and committed to their families. So, let's start with Kabi Wajizas. He's the husband to Mili Wajizas. As I told you guys, these people have money. They are actually brand ambassadors to Bonfire Adventures and Bonfire Adventures pocket around 1 billion per year, meaning they are paid well. The first thing is Kabi taking Mili to the market to do grocery shopping. You know most people characterize going to the market as the woman's job. But Kabi does it. He doesn't care what people will say. They do that together and even do the bargaining together. The second thing is Kabi taking Mili to the salon, which is quite unusual to men. The third romantic thing is Kabi taking Mili to Dubai to celebrate her birthday. I got nothing to be scared of. The fourth romantic thing is Kabi buying Mili the most expensive phone in the market at that time, and that is iPhone 11. There is always love. The fifth romantic thing is Kabi setting a romantic dinner date for Mili or Jesus. The, in my heart. the sixth romantic thing is Kabi taking Mili to Mayani Nanyuki for a night out. So I'll try my best to not fall apart. The seventh romantic thing is Kabi cooking for Mili, and he has done this several times, but I'm not gonna mention this. I remember him cooking mandazi, chapati, and blah blah blah. And the fun it had to the eighth romantic thing is Kabi surprising Mili with a bedroom makeover and it was actually a huge transformation. The ninth romantic thing is Kabi surprising Mili with a piece of land where they're going to build their dream home. The tenth and the last romantic thing is Kabi kissing Mili. Uh, yeah, that's romantic. And of course, they were a part of which I'm not gonna mention that. You know, guys, I can't finish because in year where they have done a lot of things this year, this year has really favored them. And I find it hard to let go. Memories keep me together. Then the second couple is the Bahatis and they're actually a brand ambassador to Moto Hub Kenya where they get a lot of money from it because Moto Hub Kenya is actually a big company that sells cars and also they have gotten so many deals this year. So let me start with the first point here. The first romantic thing is our uh, Bahati did this year was buying Diana a Mercedes ML 350 AMG. No pressure, no pressure. The second romantic thing Bahati did was buying Diana the latest Samsung phone in the market and that is Samsung S20 Ultra. Stay, no, to the ones who want 
the third romantic thing Bahati did was gifting Diana three pieces of lands. You can now count how many millions he had to spend this year. Starting from Mercedes ML 350 AMG, then here, three pieces of lands. Not even one, three. Do the ones who want something better, the ones who never say never. The fourth romantic thing Bahati did was buying Diana a lingerie. You know, not every guy will buy their wives that lingerie or their girlfriends. But yes, Bahati did it and on camera. And I find it hard to let go. The fifth romantic thing is Bahati setting a very nice setup for Diana's birthday. Memories keep me together, got a fight to leave. The sixth romantic thing Bahati did was singing for Diana the song Chachana 2. But honestly, I feel they couldn't have staged that breakup drama because their song Ingeda Mbali. Mikama wali botu watu, one week down the line, oh no, five days, five days down the line, the song was already at one million views. Then four weeks down the line, the song just added only 500,000 views, which was not what they expected. They expected the song maybe to get to 10 million views at the end of the month, but then it didn't. But anyway, the song is nice. Guys, go and watch it. Go and support them. Mtachana 2 is a nice song. The seventh romantic thing is Bahati taking Diana to Mayan to celebrate their fifth anniversary. And they've also spent a lot of time together. The dance, the dinner dance and everything. The eighth romantic thing is Bahati kissing and expressing love to Diana in public. Heaven just knows what it was. The ninth romantic thing Bahati did was hiring a chopper for Diana just for her to feel that expensive life. Will I go back to the place where I belong? The tenth and the last romantic thing is Bahati taking Diana on a road trip just to have fun. Everyone could Guys, I told you I won't finish because both Kabi and Bahati are so romantic. And to add to that, they have money. So guys, between Kabi and Bahati, who has been more romantic or who is more romantic than the other, just give your opinions in the comment section below and tell me what you think about this. Oh, yeah. and I it hard to let go. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and remember if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and guys happy new year to all of you happy 2021 may all your dreams come to pass guys i'll be back with more videos bye And I find it hard to say no To the ones who want something better To the ones who never say never Will you be my pleasure?